going to do a project from wejustclick.me. It's a text project, so I'm going to adapt that for our class. So what you're going to first need to do is take a really nice base photograph with a solid background because you're going to be selecting yourself out of it. This is Spencer. Um, so and we're going to be adding a word to it that really kind of describes the person in the photograph. So Spencer is very driven, so that's the word that I've chosen to use for this project. So I'm going to start out by unlocking the background layer. So you see I have converted it to a regular layer. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the eyedropper tool. And in this case, I'm going to sample from Spencer's hat to get my text color. But you could just choose the color that you want for your text if you would like to. Or you can sample it from another part of your image. Up to you. Then I'm going to grab my type tool and I'm going to select the t font that I would like to use. For this particular project, I'm gonna, just going to stick with simple impact. It's up to you what you choose to use. You could go to defont.com and download a font for this as well. Up to you. So I'm going to click, and I'm going to type my word. Now, I do think in this case I am going to use all caps. Again, that is a decision for you. So I've typed it. Now I'm going to hit the check mark to commit. And I can't see my entire word, but that's OK. So at this point. I'm actually going to hide my layer 0, my background layer, and then on my text layer right here, I am going to convert this. I'm going to go layer, rasterize. I'm going to convert it. So again, that was layer, rasterize. Now, because I have rasterized the layer, I will be able to free transform it. So now I'm going to do edit transform or free transform the shortcut for that of course is command T and then I'm going to grab a hold of that and I'm going to manipulate the size of it to fit within my project so that looks pretty good to me and I'm going to hit the check mark to commit now I'm going to turn the visibility back on on my background layer and I actually even kind of like the placement of that where it is. You can move it around, up, down, wherever you prefer. Okay, so now at this point we're going to duplicate our layer 0, our background layer. So we're going to do layer, duplicate layer, I'm going to click OK. And then you're going to grab that duplicated layer and drag it over top of your driven layer. So at this point, we're on our layer zero copy, and we're going to select the subject. So I'm going to go to select subject and let it Photoshop do its magic. OK, pretty good. A little off, so I'm going to grab my quick selection tool or selection tool of my choice and clean it up. Here's a little bit. I'm going to zoom in so I can see the shoe area a little bit better. Remember, we really like a nice, clean selection. It makes all our projects turn out better. Okay, this little area, I'm going to hold down options, take out that little area. Okay, and overall that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to turn, I'm going to go down and select our layer mask button. So it's this button at the very bottom of our layer panel. And when you click that, it should cut out your subject and you should be able to see now the layer underneath of it. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and hide the visibility. We're going to turn the visibility off on layer 0. So at this point, your image should look like so. OK, 
Okay, now the next part, what we're going to do is we are going to go to our word layer, our text layer. We're going to right click on it and we're going to select convert to a smart object. So we're going to turn the text into a smart object and then we're going to duplicate this layer. So layer, duplicate layer, and we're going to then grab a hold of it and drag it on top of our stack of layers. Now the next part is we're going to go to our little FX button and we're going to select stroke. Now you have some choices here. You could actually use a different color stroke. Um, in this case, I am going to use the exact same color that I used for my text. But again, that's up to you. You can choose the size of your stroke and you're going to put the position on the inside. And once you have your settings, I think I'm even going to amp it up to 15, but again, the size is completely up to you. I'm going to click OK. Then you're going to go to your fill right here and I'm going to drag this all the way down to zero. So when you do that, it takes the fill of the layer away, but you can still see the effect on this layer, which is the stroke. So pretty cool. So now what we're going to do is we are going to link these two text layers together. So in order to do that, you're going to hold down Command, and you're going to select, of course, I'm on a Mac, so if you're on a PC, you would be holding down Control. Once you have the two layers selected, you are going to come down to the little um, link and you're gonna click on that. So now you see that these two layers are linked together. So if I were to grab the move tool, I can now pick up the text, and both of these layers can be moved and adjusted together. So you can shift it around, your positioning around if need be. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll to the bottom of my layer panel. I'm going to click on layer zero, and I'm gonna add a layer right above that this is going to be my background layer. Now at this point, um, you can do uh, your background. So you could do a solid color, a gradient, an image, whatever you prefer for your background. And so this is what I've decided to go with. So you guys can do whatever edits that you want to do to kind of tweak it and personalize it. And then once you're finished, you can flatten and save.